So what are brand studies typically used for? Brands use them as a way to be able to understand whether their campaigns have worked or not and answer questions such as did it improve purchase consideration, awareness, ad recall, questions such as that. But above that, what it can also do um, is really help to provide insights to be able to improve the effectiveness of future campaigns by answering questions such as is Creative A working better than Creative B? What is the optimum frequency of exposure? Is uh, media partner A performing better than media partner B? Uh, or even, um, what is the optimum length of attention that a consumer should have on an ad for it to really move one of these brand metrics? So how does this work? So what happens is that you run a brand effectiveness study and a pixel is used to understand um, which advert somebody has been exposed to. In this pixel, we can also collect other parameters, such as was it from media partner A or was it from media partner B? Um, was it creative A or was it creative B? Then anal analysts and researchers then split this data in various different ways to give this actual insights. And what this enables clients to do is to plan, activate and um, measure. And by then repeating that process over time, they get to improve the effectiveness of future campaigns. So by conducting brand studies, they not only help us understand how a previous campaign has worked, but also how we can make a future campaign perform better. Absolutely. So this data may be split, uh, for example, to show that Creative A is working better than Creative B. If that is then applied to the next campaign, an improvement in the effectiveness of the campaigns can happen. So have you seen any live examples of this actually being put into practice? Yeah, absolutely. So um, by having a programme of learnings where you're learning various different things over time, you can actually um, activate these, uh, the, the, these insights to be able to um, increase um, actual campaigns. Um, one of the great examples that we uh, have seen recently is that in a 2019 campaign um, around Christmas, um, what we actually found was that the, um, the, the message just really wasn't resonating with a certain part of the, the, the audience, but was resonating with, um, with another audience segment. Um, that campaign unfortunately didn't really work at moving any of the metrics. However, these learnings were applied in 2020, and what we actually saw there was a four percentage point increase in consideration. Now, actually, if you look at um, the size of this campaign, it was pretty large. It was uh, towards 10 million people. What that actually meant was that by applying these learnings, 400,000 extra people were likely to purchase that brand in the end. So it's a fantastic result for the advertiser and a significant return on investment. Thank you, Alistair. That's great. We hope you found this short video today useful. But if you have any further questions on how brand studies help improve brand effectiveness, then please do get in touch and visit us today at ondeviceresearch.com.